Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tiwi World Channel. If it's your first time here, you are welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for always supporting. In today's video, you will know the three types of enemies you should be careful of as a chosen one. I encourage you to watch this video and watch it to the end for more insight. Please, subscribe, like, comment, and share. God bless you. Hello, Mom. Are you going out? Yes, Mom. Where are you going to? There is an outreach in church today, so I decided to be part of it. Remember that our first assignment as believers is to reach out to lost souls and bring them back to the Lord Jesus. What you are implying now is that you are not going out to look for a job today? Mom, I go out every day in search of a job, but all to no avail. Not going out today will not change anything. God is the giver of all things, it does not matter the effort I put into it. At the appointed time, my job will come. You are spewing nonsense. Look at you Frank. Just take a look at yourself. Do you want to be a useless man? Everyone is out there working and making money, you are there roaming around to disturb the peace of others calling it preaching. Focus. You need to focus on your life. Get a life, son. I don't understand what you are talking about, Mom. Just today that I decided to go for the outreach, you are acting like I have not been serious with this job. Sometimes I think you are not my son. Maybe there was a mistake. You don't behave like me or your father. Get out of my sight. I am off to church, Mom. Today's outreach was powerful. Many souls were one for the Lord. I so much enjoyed the outreach. I think I have to do this more often. I think you are right. The challenge I am having now is my mom. What happened to her? She's always opposing anything I do. Nothing I do in that house is right. My mom is always fighting me for no reason, seeking for fault, and always saying I am not doing enough. When I was leaving the house for the outreach this morning, she said all my mates are out there making money and that I am roaming around in the name of outreach. I have always been going out looking for a job even on days that I am feeling well. Just today that I decided to go for outreach, my mom was not having it. Frank. You should be outside looking for a job and making money. Don't be a useless man. Those were her words to me this morning. I feel so down and unfulfilled. Why would my mom who gave back to me be acting like this towards me? I am so sorry to hear that Frank. I just pray that you get a good job soon. She's always comparing me with my younger brother. Don't let her words get to you. You have to focus on what God has told you about your life and destiny. Those are distractions and you must not give in to it. I just feel so bad that I am unable to do what I am supposed to do as the first child in the house. Don't get yourself all worked up. Everything will be fine. Thank you so much for your encouragement. My pleasure. It's time for night prayers. I am still feeling sleepy. I have to stand up from my bed if I don't want to sleep back. I will continue to pray that everything that God has chosen me for will come to pass in the name of Jesus. I will fulfill my destiny and my purpose in life in Jesus' name. Nothing will stop it or cut it short in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for the grace to pray. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 9 Before I formed thee in the belly I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return into me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Father, every word that you have spoken concerning my life and destiny shall be accomplished and it shall prosper in my life in Jesus' name. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. You know your purpose for my life. I pray that everything will begin to work for my purpose until I enter into the fulfillment of my destiny in Jesus' name. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace, and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Father, I know the thought you have towards me, the thought of peace and not evil to give me an expected end. I secure my hope, 
future and destiny in you in the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 46 verse 10 declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure, Father, only your counsel will stand over my life in Jesus' name. Mom. I hope everything is alright. I can't sleep. I can't sleep. Is anything disturbing your sleep? Yes. Your prayers. Your prayers are interrupting my sleep. I can't have a proper sleep in my house. Can you imagine? But, Mom. Don't mommy me. Are you stopping me from praying? Don't ask me silly questions. I am done praying already, Mom. All these prayers you have been praying and nothing is happening in your life. Everything will align, Mom. I will keep trusting God. Nonsense. I am out of here. What is this again? Let me just round off my prayers. Thank you, Jesus, for the answered prayers. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 One of the enemies you have to be careful of as a chosen one are the familiar or family enemy. It can be your parent, siblings, or extended family or any relation. They are there to distract you from what God has called you to be. They are there to put pressure and talk down on who God has called you to be. They make you feel less of yourself, so that you can conclude that you amount to nothing. Because all these challenges are coming from your family members, you tend to believe in their lies and then give in to everything they are throwing at you. Be careful of these kind of enemy. You are a chosen person that is why the devil is using them to wage war against you. Be careful not to give in. I have registered for the next level chartered examination. Wow. I didn't think it was necessary to write that examination. I want to just write it and add the certificate to my portfolio. Someone told me about that exam, but I didn't think we needed it in our field. All I know is that no knowledge is a waste. I am not interested. I don't want to write any professional exam for now. Only one goal. To fly in our career. Correct. You are correct. I am close to my bus stop. Just pull over so I can alight. Thank you. This lady will not seem to amaze me. Why is she always writing exams all the time? Is she the only one that wants to fly in her career? She's always putting me under pressure. Now, I have to go and write that nonsense exam. Erica cannot outrun me in this career. Anything she do I do. Any examination she is writing, I must write. I have not heard about that exam before, I had to lie that someone told me about it. I have to do my findings so I can register for that exam. How was the exam? I wasn't expecting to you in the exam hall. I thought you said you were not interested in the exam. I changed my mind. Oh. Very good of you. The questions are so cheap. I saw something on the secretary's table, sir. What did you see, Lisa? I saw Erica's name that she will be the one the company is sending for the sponsorship course. Yes! Why? On what criteria? On what ground? Mr. Edwin. Everything she has in her portfolio is what I have in mine. I made sure I write every exam and course she write. She cannot go for that trip. It is either no one goes or you put both of us up or that trip or she stays and you put me. Do you realize you are talking to me? I can't seem to understand everything you have been spilling since. Leave my office now. You send for me, sir. I think you should be careful who you tell the exams and courses you take. Be careful of competitive enemy. I don't understand. As a chosen one, you have to be careful of competitive enemy. Because you are chosen, you have tendencies to have great ideas, and all do better than other people around you. Because of these great things you carry, people around you might want to become competitive and jealous of you. This is why as a chosen person be careful of the things you share with your colleagues and friends. They will see you flying and will not understand why, so they want to be like you. They want to be like you in an unholy manner, either by competing with you or by envy and jealousy. The competitive enemy can be anywhere or anyone, not only in your workplace. 
The competitive enemy is also there to stop your favor and blessing from getting to you. The competitive enemy is not happy when you are flourishing or doing well. They can be in your neighborhood, family, assembly of worship or friends. Be careful and sensitive. We are going to fight every chosen one. They will not fulfill that which the Father has called them to be. We will fight the chosen ones. The third enemy you should be careful of is the spiritual enemy. The forces of darkness. That is why as a chosen one you should always be a playful person so that the enemy does not rob you of what the Lord has called you to be. The spiritual enemy wants to steal, kill and destroy. Be prayerful and sensitive against these three enemies as a chosen one. God bless you. Please, subscribe.